Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we talk about Excel's new group by function. This new function can replace some old ones like unique, sumif, and sumifs functions and make our work much easier. Let us see how it works. Suppose if you want to analyze the sales by country, we need to copy these two headers and paste on H4. We need to apply the unique function here unique of country column this will identify all the unique countries from the country column then we need to use sum if function equals to sum if range country column freeze the range comma canada comma sales column freeze the range close bracket hit enter copy and paste down so this will sum up all the sales by the country at the same time if we want to analyze the sales by country and product then how to analyze i'm going to delete this sales column here and unique function also copying the product and sales header to i column now we need to use the unique function and take both country and product columns close bracket hit enter now this unique function will identify all the unique combination from both the columns now we have to use sum if s function why sum if s means we have multiple criteria to check country and product here some range is sales column freeze the range comma criteria range is country column freeze the range comma country comma product freeze the range and select the product close bracket hit enter now this sum if s function will check all multiple criterias and sums up the data based on the criteria so we were analyzing like this we need to identify the unique combinations of the categorical columns and then we need to use the sum if function to sum up all the sales column so these many steps are involved to analyze the data in older days but group by function made our life easy what is group by group by is a new excel function that lets you organize and summarize your data quickly it is like using a pivot table but much easier with group by you can group your data and get totals or averages without needing any complicated formulas let's see how it works now now i have the same sales data here let's see how to analyze the sales by country using the group by function i'm going to use group by the first argument is row fields the row field is country column comma value fields what are the value fields here the sales column comma the third argument is function here there are couple of functions available based on your need you can take whichever the function is relevant to you but here i am going to take the sum function to sum the sales column close bracket hit enter we will get all the sales summarized by country here and the beautiful thing is we also got the grand total at the same time there is one more advantage we can also get the headers here let me delete the function here and apply the group by function in h4 cell equals to group by row fields country column this time we need to include the headers as well so b4 to b25 comma values sales column comma function is sum now the fourth argument comes in place after pressing comma it will ask you whether you need the headers or not now i need to show the header so i'm going to take number three yes and show and close the bracket hit enter now we got the headers and the grand total as well now let's see how to analyze the sales data by country and product 
just open the function include the product column also in the row section hit enter it will analyze country product and sales at the same time if you want to include the units sold and sales also in the value section go to the value section and include units sold column as well in the value section and hit enter it will include units sold and sales column to analyze at the same time we got the totals as well see how simple it is awesome right when to use the group by function any time you want to summarize or add up data without using multiple functions or creating a pivot table it's a perfect choice for big data sets and more complex calculations that's it for today's video if this video helps you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more excel tips and tricks like this let me know your thoughts in the comments how you are planning to use the group by function Thanks for watching I will see you in the next video